Top tips on how to grow your hair for this summer. Number one, don't even think about getting a haircut. Hell no, you're, you're wrong about you're that. Andy, growing out your me. hair. No, 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 what's, no, no, the, no. what's the point of a haircut? I think it's better that you get maintenance trims every maybe like two or three months. It just makes the process feel easier. You don't give up on it so easily. You would rather lose some length to the hair to make it look good as it's growing in. I've seen way too many guys come into the shop growing out their Lord hair. Lord of Farquaad. And it, exactly. From the top to the side, it's all one thing. Oh, sheet of hair. You get one haircut in the beginning, tell your barber you're growing shit out, and they don't see him for the next four or five months. If you want to go that route, that is another get option. You get your shit straight out. You're not going to be able to feel set good up during the process. And, and I know those of you guys who actually get to the long hair route, you used to get haircuts often, so it's going to be a hard process for you to get used to. That's true. You're going to feel a little bushy. I do recommend getting your sides cleaned up. You're going to feel a little better. You can't just agree with me now. Let us know in the comments what you should be doing with their long hair, if you have long hair, of course. My